from Roundabout Woodworks and in today's video I'm going to talk about setting your tool rest height in relation to the bowl you're currently hollowing. From time to time I see messages posted on forums and, and other places uh, from new turners usually want to know why they're having problems and how high should their tool rest be. Setting your tool rest height is kind of complex. The, the answer invariably is given that uh, at dead center or sixteenth above. And the reason that that answer is given, I think, is because it's kind of hard to explain to somebody in a short post how you should set your tool rest. Because the height of your tool rest depends on several things. How tall you are, where the center, where the spindle center height is in relation to you, how long your arms are, how you hold the tool, where you're cutting, the diameter of the work that you're cutting. And if any of those differs by just a little bit from somebody else, the tool rest height is going to be different. This video is only about hollowing the inside of a bowl. If there's enough interest in this, then I'll do another video about setting your tool rest in relation to spindle turning, which is the majority of my work is spindle turning. But that's less critical. So, uh, enjoy the video, and I hope it helps you. Thank you. Okay, this line is at center height, spindle. Um, anyway, this is at the center height. So, if I want to cut, with a bowl gouge. Or even with an Irish grind. This is on face grain, by the way. If I put my tool rest at center height when I start the cut, This is not even not going to present a problem until I get to the center. I can't get the t I can't angle the tool enough to hit the center. Let's see. So what I'm going to do is lower my rest until the cutting edge is at center height in the center. And that will allow me to take material off and not leave a ever growing mountain of a nub in the bottom of the bowl. Uh, the problem starts after I've taken some material out, say to a depth of about the width of a hand. If I present the tool in the same way, which creature of habit I'm going to do, I, I'm not going to be able to get anywhere close to the center height. So what I have to do is pivot the tool down. And again, that's not a problem. Until you get very deep and the tool rest is too tall and then your shoulders are shrugged and it's uncomfortable and it's not like it's a 10 second cut you're going to be down there for several minutes and it, it leads to fatigue it's not dangerous to do it that way uh, it's not a better or worse cut it's just fatiguing um, so that's why the deeper I go into the bowl the lower my tool rest goes and Good news, everyone. that way, when I'm far out, it's not near, I don't have to shrug my shoulders. I basically just adjust the grip on the tool, bend my arm a little bit more, and I'm again in the center. That's with a gouge. With a scraper, we're at center height.
That's actually pretty good. With a scraper you want to be either cutting down in this orientation or dead level. You never want to cut up. What that does is make it sharpens the angle and increases the amount of the cut until it gets to the point where the wood the shaving coming off the wood the face of the wood is too thick to get out of the way that pushes down on the gate on the gate on the it pushes down on the scraper and because you're inside a bowl there's nowhere for it to go to get out of the wood which means causes it to go around and you slap on the tool or on the like one of two things. It either throws the tool out of your hand or it breaks the bowl when it slaps back down. So for a scraper, I generally go the opposite direction. I go above center. And that allows me to control the cut. It becomes less aggressive if I'm cutting in a downward angle. I get a better finish. Uh, it takes longer because the the shaving is thinner and you take off less material, but you take off less material in a more controlled manner than you would otherwise. Um, anyway, so the hard and fast rule of having your rest dead center or a sixteenth above is a basic rule that once you understand why the rest is set at that position, you can then understand why you would want to set it at another position. And as long as you keep in mind where the cutting edge of your tool is with regard to the center, you never want to cut below center. Uh, even when you're cutting in a downward orient, even when I'm holding the, the scraper this way and cutting that way, I may be reaching below center, but I'm not usually. And the reason for that is the same as it was, because I want to have the tool, I want an escape route for the tool. If it catches for some reason, and generally it won't if you hold it correctly, but if it does, if you hit a hard spot, a knot, or uh, you get too aggressive, or you know, twitch in your arm, or whatever it is, and causes you to have a catch, if you're above center, then the tool is going to go into empty space, it's, and the catch will be arrested. It won't. It won't go any further. See? It's kind of hard to demonstrate. Anyway. Uh, okay. I wanted to give it to you from another angle. Also experimenting with the built-in microphone controls. The controls for the built-in microphone. All right. The rest is at center height right now on this ball. This is about 10 inches in diameter. And if you, I don't even see the line there. I'm hitting above the line. And like I said before, that's fine until you get to the center, which leaves a nub, which then you have to, if your rest is at center height and you're down into the bowl, you can kind of twist up and go down and, and get it, but that's not ideal. So what I want to do is so that I can hit that nub in the center to begin with and have less of a dip at the end when I go deep, I'll set the rest even lower than, than the tool. So I'm hitting at the line right there. That's at center height. The ed cutting edge of my tool is at center height. And as I go, I'll be able to take that nub off and always have a perfectly flat bottom. You know what I mean by perfectly flat bottom. But won't be, but it won't have that nub that looks like a small mountain in there. And that's with a gouge. And this is a conventional ground gouge. Here's my iron grind gouge. And if you'll notice, the angles are almost identical. They're not quite. Kind of difficult to see. That bevel against that not bevel. Maybe just a slight But even if you're using an Irish grind gouge, that'll put your cutting edge at center height. This one's a bit narrower, so. 
And you can adjust that just by the, and how long your arms are. But that's why you want to rest lower than center height. The difference is even more dramatic when you've hollowed into the bowl some. The further away the tool, because this is an angle between your hand and the tool rest, the cutting edge gets higher the further away from the tool rest you go. So you can do two things to accommodate. You can raise your arm, which can be fatiguing, like I said, or you can lower the rest again. About the width of the tool. And that'll put you at center height again. And when you're far out, the angle's not so bad. And that's for a gouge. For a scraper, if the tool rest is too low and you're hollowing down D. When you get a cat, and you will get a cat if you're this low because of the angle of the get, angle of the edge is so aggressive, the thickness of the shaving builds up on the edge and can't get out of the way enough. It'll curl right up until you get a real a thick shaving, which pushes the tool down, which drives it even deeper into the wood, which it's not really deeper into the wood, it's just harder into the wood because you've already built up the maximum width shaving that you can get and that pushes it down which will either break the bowl depending if the wall is thin enough or you get a ferocious catch which rotates it around and bangs on the rest so with a scraper you always want to be above center height. At least the thickness of the tool. If you have a thin scraper, you're not going to want to hollow deep anyway with the thin scraper because of chatter. But if you have a thick scraper like this, this is uh, three eighths of an inch thick, uh, you're cutting above center. Anyway, that's all I got for now. So that's it. That's how I set the tool rest height when I'm turning the inside of a bowl. I hope you found the video informative and, and helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can leave a comment below or you can send me an email or whatever. Uh, comment, same thing. Got a comment, leave one. Thanks for watching. Um, thank you to my subscribers for hitting that button. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, that way you'll be aware, made aware of uh, new videos when I upload them. And I don't have a set schedule for uploading videos. It's been a couple of weeks since my last one. Uh, hopefully it, it won't be a couple of weeks before my next one. But uh, kind of be selective about what I make videos of. Anyway, thank you.